We have a maximally resistant human. I'm going to back up just for camera purposes. He's hiding his hands. He's not cooperating. The legs can be in a turtle. They can be out. They can be completely contracted and like non-mobile. They can be crossed at the ankle, whatever you wish. So if I want to motivate movement, the first thing I got to do is maximize my weight. So the rule is always this. If I'm pinching elbows and knees tight, I make a roof with my torso, but there's minimal pressure. The further out my knees go, the greater the weight on his body. If I go to full extension, it's as much weight as you're pretty much going to get in that position, but to maximize it fully, balls of feet or blades of feet, and lift up your knees. So now he's carrying my full weight. That's what I want. And that's usually enough if I'm pinching, I'm short hooking, I might work cross face to motivate him moving away, that if I wind the spine, that limits his mobility. I might grind underneath to get his wrist and take that to the back. That can motivate that, that can assist quite a bit. But I'm careful not to choke, I'm keeping it on his jawbone, right, as much as I can. And I can put pressure with my crank. But if all that stuff is failing, I'm having trouble, I'm usually gonna use my thumb pursed on my index finger, either my phoenix knuckle or my thumb notch, and I'm grooving along his neck and his jaw to get it in. Some people are so resistant to the pain. Some people are so resistant to this. I try putting my full elbow spike in and plying it out and it's still not working. So in that case, I go to the center line of his body, which is his spine. If I push on the close side, this motivates him to lift on the far side. Right? He's gonna move away from me. If I push on the far side, this motivates him to move to the close side. So if I have good control, I'll normally motivate it on the close side because I want to encourage him to go that way so I can get underneath. Little Ian's coming off, little Ian afros everywhere. If I motivate on the, on the far side, that motivates movement towards my stomach. If he has a weapon, he has full access to my groin and my abdomen right now. So the only time I'm going to spike on the far side is if I have very strong control on the close. Usually going to be cross face. Right? Because now, if I put pressure, I'm going to put less weight. If I put pressure on his far side, he can't turn towards me. Try to turn towards me as hard as he can. Yeah. It's very hard. His, his, and then I, I'm going to dominate with the cross face and control it here. But his hand will come out. Right? You'll notice on that side. So I'll show you on this side. Spiking, cross face, hand will come out. Right? Normally, when you spike and you cross face on diagonals, the, hand, the direction to which you're looking, the other side, the hand's going to come out. Right? So if I, if I take it here, ugh. I've got a spike, I've got cross face, hand wants to come out, you have it. I go the opposite direction, spike, cross face, I'm gonna go until that comes out, you lift it. You can even work a reverse cross face, keep it there, take his hands, but this is just to produce his hands. Once I have one, I can keep my weight, keep my weave, work on the other side, keep pressure, I can spike, right? And slowly motivate that to come out, take it, mount it if I have to. So that's all I'd like to see. So Ian, you know, I'm a lot bigger than you, you're a lot lighter. And I hate you so much, I'm not gonna give you my hands. If I go here, he wants to have all of his weights on me. He's steering the face. Yeah, and he's got that elbow in. So yeah, don't be so yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I say the hands will always wanna move out. And you can work, keep your spike on me. Thanks. You can join your hands here. Join them again. Ah, that's a good lock, right? Keep that spike if you want as well, and that's beautiful. That's all I wanna see. Take your time, choose one rib you don't like, and just play it like a piano key of pain. It'll be good. You're alive! You guys are excited. Sweet! Oh, 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 oh. And now. Oh yeah, you can jiggle and bounce too, guys. I was just being kind before. Jiggle and bounce. It's very kind. <laughs>